Vegetable police here. Suspect in question today, doomies. More like doom and gloomies. <laughs> So Doomy's Home Cooking, it's a vegan restaurant, home of the Big Mac, the vegan Big Mac. It's twice the size and half the tomato sauce, I know. Delicious burger, previously only available at festivals because they were an LA based restaurant, but they're here now. Welcome to Toronto. You can make us all sick. Let's face it, it's vegan junk food, not healthy one bit. Not a little bit. I got the healthiest thing on the menu and I almost died. So we saw a bunch of cool things on our way to the restaurant. So come with me for a little walk. There's many adventures to be had. got his little brother. Come get some coconut, buddy. So my first impression walking through the door of Doomies was the music, louder than a nightclub, pounding at our brains. And then the lights, bright enough to blind a fucking mole rat. It was harsh, like really harsh. Picture fluorescent lights in school without the cover. That's what it is, all on the ceiling. I was blinded. It felt like shit in there. So I'm looking through the menu and you can see it here. Pretty much everything deep fried. There's basically two somewhat healthy dishes there, and that would be the tacos, and I believe maybe some of their pasta dishes might not kill you. So me and my girlfriend, were sitting at our table, and we're just thinking, let's eat anywhere but here. Anywhere but here. This is a fucking nightmare. Let's get our food to go. So we took it, we went to a park, the ambiance of a restaurant is something I never even considered before. I didn't care. Just is the food good? Is it cheap? Let's go. But I've never not wanted to eat somewhere more than there. So that's one strike. The food was delicious. Those tacos, I got the beef tacos. Beef, vegan beef. It's a beef plant. And my girlfriend got the pulled pork, which is like a pulled plant of some sort. Very delicious. And that bean dip they had on the side, I mean, it was the messiest meal I ever had, but it was delicious. You, you can't flack them on that, if that's a word. Don't flack these guys. But I couldn't help thinking, what are we doing here? What are we doing in the vegan world? Why, is this, why does this place exist? Why do we have to replicate the unhealthiest food on the planet? with the vegan version. It's, it's minorly healthier, but as I saw burger after burger with fries come out of the kitchen, 
and deep fried shrimp balls and chicken wings on waffles. I'm just thinking, what the fuck? I hate to be that vegan that has to say something. And I know a lot of you just want to say, come on, let them have their junk food. This is great for the planet. We're not killing any animals. This is wonderful. I'm not an ethical vegan. I'm a health vegan. That's why I make videos. That's why I got into veganism. I spread health on this channel and that ain't healthy. There ain't nothing healthy about that whole place. They even say they have a sign mocking healthy people saying we don't make salads. No, no salads here. The ethical vegan would love this restaurant because all they care about is the animals. So if you're that kind of vegan and you don't mind being a wrinkled sack of shit when you're 70 years old, then by all means go to these doomies and Hogtown Vegan every week. Not healthy. Not fucking approved. Once a year. Tops. I felt like shit after that meal. I know what feeling good feels like. I know what healthy food does in my stomach. I just ate five mangoes or so and I don't even know they're in there. They're just dancing. They're grooving down my digestive tract. Fucking high-fiving everybody down there. But this meal was like, okay, something, something ain't right. I was queasy right away, little queasy, not full-blown nausea, but dehydrated as shit, heartburn. Just, it wasn't even spicy. It's the onion. It's just, it ain't healthy. On the bright side, yes, because this place exists, less animals will die. People will go there and they'll be like, wow, I can have burgers and fries as a vegan, seriously? They might go vegan because of that. And that's great for the planet, great for the animals. That's not the focus of my channel. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to promote health. I'm here to get healthy myself and show you how I do it. And hopefully that inspires some of you to make some changes in your diet your exercise routine, whatever you gotta do to get healthy. That would be awesome. If, if you're inspired just by watching these videos to make improvements in your diet, that, that's great. But to me personally, places like Doomies, Hogtown Vegan, where everything is deep fried, that is the most carcinogenic thing you can do in your body. Oil is not healthy. Heating it slightly is worse but the high temperature deep frying gallons of it and then cooling down gallons, heat off, heat back and forth, that is madness. So many carcinogens are created the first time, then the second heating, third heating, it's holy shit, Bill. In my opinion, that's the wrong direction, veganism. That's the wrong path. I'm heading up the path, up the mountain to the mango tree you can head down that other path that leads to the cave where there's a bear waiting to ass rape you. You can do that. I ain't gonna stop you. But I ain't, I ain't gonna join you on that mission. You take that, that's all you. So if you wanna eat there once a week, don't expect your blue eyes. Don't expect your brown eyes to turn blue. That ain't gonna happen. You gotta cleanse on the fruits and veggies and build with the nuts and seeds. Raw food for the win, some cooked food when you don't have the raw food, I get it. I get it. I ain't a Nazi. Bottom line, would I go there again? If I was forced, I, I'm kind of curious to see what their pesto pasta thing tastes like. I would try it. So my goal is to be as healthy as I can. And that ain't gonna come by drinking the leftover deep fryer juice of Doomies. That's not how you do it. So let me know, what are your thoughts on this? Are vegan fast food, junk food restaurants a good thing? I know they're good for the animals, but not so good for the humans. So where, where does the trade-off happen? Is it beneficial to save the animals at the expense of the humans? Or can we do it a better way? Is there a better way? So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Thumb up the video if you liked it. While I was at Doomies, somebody walked by me and said, cool t-shirt. You might want to get in on that. That's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.